Hello everyone, let us see about this pseudocode question. Here P is given as 64 and it is declared as an integer. Q is 18. R is declared as integer. Value is not assigned. If you check the first step here, R equal to P minus Q. Means 64 minus 18. Right, so what will be the R value? 48, is it? 46, right? 46. Okay, R value 46. Next step, R equal to R mod Q. So R is 46. Modulus means it's, it's like a percentage symbol. Q is 18. So when 46 is divided by 18, what is the remainder? 46 divided by 18. What is the remainder? Remainder is nothing but 10. Now R is updated to 10. Previous R value is 46. Now it is updated to 10. Okay. Next, Q equal to Q plus R. Q is 18. R is now 10. It will become 28. Fine. Then P equal to P minus Q. P is nothing but 64. Q is 28. Subtracting will get 36. Now you have to print P, Q and R values. That is nothing but 36, 28 and 10. In question itself, they given what is mod. Okay, find the it will find the remainder after division of one number by the other. 7 mod 3 is nothing but 1. So, 3, 2 times 6, remainder is 1. So, this mod is not modulo symbol. Okay, in all programming languages, this percentage or modulo symbol, when x is divided by y, what is the remainder? x percentage y. When x is divided by y, what is the remainder? Pseudo codes are asked in Capgemini company, first round, right? It is there in Accenture, it is there in Infosys company. So, mean majority of the companies nowadays, they're asking pseudo codes as one of the section. Okay, instead of coding, okay, certain companies are focusing more on pseudo codes so that equal opportunity is given for all branch of students, not only for CS allied branches, civil mechanical also can solve these type of questions, right? Thank you.